What's up guys, my name is Ilyas and welcome to your 39th tutorial on jQuery. So in this tutorial we are going to uh, work with this new jQuery UI extension. Well, it's not a new extension, but it's a new extension for us. And uh, as you know, in the previous tutorial we uh, bound this jQuery UI extension to our project and we um, uh, ad already added this feature so we can drag and drop elements. But the next feature we want to have, we want uh, the state to be stored on the server when we drop the picture. And so we want to track the event of dropping the picture. And well, now we, you guys don't have, don't have any idea how to track this event. And there is actually no such an event for dropping in jQuery. But uh, the jQuery UI extension, which has this function sortable for instance, provides um, lots of cool functionality and it also has kind of events which we can uh, get advantage of. So now I want you guys to uh, go to the script.js document and make sure you uh, find this portfolio.sortable which applies this sortable uh, function to this portfolio and makes the portfolio sortable for the most part. And here you can uh, actually just start typing your event and there are some events like start and start is used when you like start um, when you like start uh, dragging something and you can also type stop and we actually want this stop because stop this is the kind of event uh, which is um, which fires when we drop the element after dragging it and we can just say stop column and then tell the jQuery what it should do uh, when it stopped and so what we want to do we want a function to be run so I'll just say function and uh, just define a new function for the most part and I'll style it a little bit better so you can see the structure of this um, of these functions because we have actually like one function another function, another function. We, we have actually three nested functions because jQuery is a function as well. Because jQuery is actually uh, a big function which takes uh, lots of parameters. So you can always replace your dollar sign by the word jQuery, by the way. I, I, I think I, I told you guys in the, one of the first tutorials about that. So anyway, and this function will run when we stop dragging and now let's just go ahead and write a test so that we can check if it uh, stops in fact or if, I mean if it's this function will run in fact when we st stop dragging let's just go ahead and say you've just uh, dropped the image or the picture and save it, go to the browser, load the page and uh, open the console of course so that you can see the outputs and now I pick an element I'm dragging it and now I'm gonna stop I'm going to release the element drag it and now it works it says you've just dropped the picture so that means that we can get rid of this console log because we only use that in order to test and instead of this console log we can create some space and start writing our code for Ajax and what this Ajax code will do it will send this current state of this um, actually it will just send the whole contents of this portfolio and I'll show you guys what the portfolio is um, runtime uh, is instead of this wrapper inside of this UL, I mean ULID portfolio. We have uh, our our images, and if I drag the this image to the front, you'll see that this image uh, is uh, in fact changed its physical position in the document. And we so what we are going to do, we just we'll just send this information, uh, basically the contents of this portfolio. To the server and I already uh, wrote a script in PHP which just basically stores this list again. So our task for the next tutorial will only be to create 
and and um, a proper AJAX request to the server and send the contents of this portfolio. So and this is something what we are going to do in the next tutorial, and I hope you guys like this one. So uh, I'll see you guys in the 40th tutorial. Oh,